Bordeaux. A modern city with traditional southern values. I underestimated how far he was going to go. What he was willing to do. Visit the historic French ward and enjoy local cuisine at one of our five-star restaurants. Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take in its natural splendor. Sal Marcano had no idea what he was going to unleash. New Bordeaux. Safe. Family-oriented fun. Make it your next vacation destination. This city survived the War of 1812, the Civil War, and God knows how many hurricanes. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. Hey everyone, I'm Hayden Blackman, creative director and studio head at Hangar 13. What you've just seen is our introduction to Mafia 3, an open world crime drama set in New Bordeaux, our version of New Orleans in 1968, one of the most tumultuous years in American history. In Mafia 3, you'll play as Lincoln Clay, an orphan and Vietnam vet who falls in with New Bordeaux's black mob. When the black mob is betrayed and slaughtered by the Italian mob, led by a guy named Sal Marcano, Lincoln becomes fixated on revenge. As Lincoln, you'll wage a brutal war against the Italians, disrupting the balance of power in New Bordeaux's underworld, and ultimately creating a new crime family out of the ashes of the old by recruiting three underbosses, all with personal vendettas against Sal Marcano. History tells me that giving you more guns might be unhealthy for me. It's not like that. Not anymore. I'll see to it. They get in the hands of the right people. You're much too serious about all this. It takes the fun out of it. Besides, that's the worst that could happen. You could get us all killed. Hey, glad I could. I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting a cut of everything you bring in. Hey, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's Cassandra, the leader of the Haitian gang, who has been trying to get a foothold in the city for months. Burke, who was once loyal to Sal Marcano, but now wants to see him destroyed for his own personal reasons. And Vito Scaletta, who has been sidelined by the Marcanos and wants his piece of the action. Today we're going to jump straight into the middle of Lincoln's war with the mob and his attempts to build and maintain his new criminal family. We're going to start in the bayou and head for the French War. In Mafia 3, we treat New Bordeaux as a main character. We've not only worked hard to capture a unique time and place, but also to ensure that everything the player does in the open world propels Lincoln forward in the narrative. We've also given the city its own diverse criminal ecologies, which play a huge role in Lincoln's quest to tear down the mob. Let's take a look at just a few of the varied districts in New Bordeaux and what lurks beneath the surface and in the back alleys of the city. Our reimagined version of New Orleans is made up of 10 districts, each with its own distinct flavor. We have the scenic and mysterious bayou, which is ripe for exploration. But it's also where the Italian mob and their allies run guns and produce moonshine. The west of the city is vibrant Delray Hollow, which is home to Lincoln and his surrogate family before they are betrayed by the Italian mob. Eventually, the hollow is taken over by the Dixie mob, who kick up to the Italians and use the neighborhood as the base of operations for heroin and sex rings. 
To the north of the city is majestic Frisco Fields with its manicured lawns and mansions. This is also where the Marcano family has partnered with the racist Southern Union and cooks PCP at the local university. And of course, in the center of the city is the historic French Ward, a constant party run by Sal Marcano's brother, known around town as Uncle Lou. But it's Lou who deals smack and provides high-class call girls to wealthy VIPs throughout the iconic district. Uncle Lou's operation is Lincoln's focus right now, as capturing the French Ward for his own underbosses will strike a major blow against the Italian mob. We can hurt Lou in many different ways, but here we've decided to go after one of Lou's pimps, Oscar Sabato, who provides Lou with thousands in cash every week. Before we go after Oscar and his crew, we'll want to resupply, and we can do this by calling in our weapons dealer, an associate who has been introduced to us by Cassandra. Once the mobile store arrives, we can pick out the gear that will best suit our play style. As with most of the encounters in Mafia 3, Oscar and his crew can be taken on in many different ways. We can go in guns blazing, we can take a stealthier approach, we can even call in reinforcements. It's really all up to the player. But in this playthrough, we've decided to use my favorite approach, which is going in a little quiet to kill Oscar and then fighting our way out. So we've killed Oscar Sabato, which is a major blow to lose cash flow, and will eventually put him into hot water with his brother Sal. But now we need to get the hell out of here. You see that fucker? Here, you can see that one of Oscar's guys has made it to a phone and called in reinforcements. Fortunately, the player can call in a favor of his own from Vito, muscle to bust some heads. I need Vito to shoot us here in the war. Now that we've killed Oscar Sabato, we've cut Lou's earned by more than $10,000, bringing us one step closer to him. We want to keep hitting him where it hurts, but there are many different ways that we can do this. We can destroy Uncle Lou's drug boats, we can interrogate his pimps and dealers, we can rob his bagmen, we can even take over his drug den and brothel. Killing Oscar Sabato is only one of many ways to cut into Lou's action. Once Lincoln throttles Lou's ability to kick up to Sal, Lou trips up. In order to get back into Sal's good graces, Lou arranges a fundraiser for a crooked politician aboard one of his riverboats. Lincoln learns about this and sees an opportunity to kill Lou, one of Sal's most valuable capos. Up. 
Captain. Uh, ain't nothing for you to worry about. Let's get you upstairs. You all fan out. Watch the rest of the boat. This sure ship wasn't an accident. Looking into it. If you can just stay right here in the casino, I'll have updates for you shortly. Thank you. The crew will provide instructions on how to make an orderly. <laughs>
you up, asshole! What the fuck, Lou? Take another step, me bitch. You think I give a shit about some politician? Please! Please, I, I don't even know what's going on! This room, just the two of us. I don't want your money. I want you to send a message to your brother. Yep. Anything. Oh, just say it. You just say it. <laughs> Lord Almighty. With Lou dead, the French word is ours. And every time we take over a district in the game, Lincoln calls a sit-down to hand that district over to one of his underbosses to run the day-to-day. -day. In this sit-down, we know that there's going to be a bit of drama, because in this particular playthrough, Lincoln has given a lot of territory to Cassandra while practically ignoring Burke. You and I are on the line here, Lincoln, and I am expecting good things. I don't give a flying fuck who has what rockets. This turf, it's mine, goddammit. And I won't accept anything else. I'm gonna ask you to be patient, Burke, and give everyone a chance to weigh in on this. I got no idea which way you leaning on this, and I get it, you two got history to call back on. At least one that didn't involve him trying to kill Sammy. But next time, I prefer you cool out with the games and just make the call. Sorry Burke's all riled up. I know that's a fucking pain in the ass, but... Splitting this district up like you did just makes things worse. You gotta make a hard call here. And I hope it goes my way. Do right by me or there'll be hell to pay a chalky. Trust ain't something that comes easy to me, kid. But I wish it did. You get this to me, my con is gonna shit himself. We talk about making money, but what it comes down to is respect. I hope we can get things back on track, Burke, but we're not gonna do it with this part of the city. Vito's gonna call the shots there. What a sad, miserable fool I am for ever believing in you. But there will be no more of my foolishness. The next time I see your black hide, it will be at the end of my goddamn gun. You and Burke have history people between you. But you gotta forget all of that and deal with this. Quickly. The Mick is gonna be a problem. Until he ain't. Understand? If Burke can't fall in line, ride things out when they don't go his way, then he's not the partner we need. I'll deal with him.
What you're about to see won't happen for every player, but because of the choices we've made in this playthrough, Burke has decided to betray Lincoln, forcing Lincoln to confront him on his home turf. So there's your look at Mafia 3, coming out on October 7th for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Did you help Lincoln Clay murder Sal Marcano and all prominent members of his crime family? You're goddamn right I did. Marks the largest number of casualties in the ongoing conflict. Do this quiet. Away from here. The righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. Nothing you do will bring any of them back. It's it took me months to figure out that Lincoln had survived the massacre and was waging a war against Sal Marcano. He's just crazy on the cross. I heard you were dead. Been hearing that a lot. It's over. This is never going to be over. Ah! We're gonna keep going. You got nine more. You were there, I shot him right in the head. Once! I was, I, you shot him once! 